Well, tonight in our Changemaker series, a teenager shining a spotlight on the positive and what makes his neighborhood, Mattapan, so special. He and his friends at the Mattapan Teen Center are student filmmakers who've already made their mark with one documentary, and that's just the beginning. Tonight, meet Changemaker and filmmaker Moses Sibley. All right, perfect. Ready? Three, two, one, and... 15-year-old Moses Sibley couldn't be happier spending school vacation week behind a camera. As soon as I made my first film, I was just like, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. This is my passion. That first film was Mattapan, a documentary challenging people to re-examine their impressions of the neighborhood he calls home. We have a lot of arts. We have a lot of shops and businesses, black-owned businesses that are in Mattapan. We have a lot of unique people, people that are super creative in their own different ways. And I feel like if people saw us for those, it would draw more to the neighborhood instead of drawing them away. How do you see the neighborhood? I describe it as welcoming. When I moved to Mattapan, oh, everybody knew everybody. Moses and his filmmaking friends from the Mattapan Teen Center visited landmarks, explored history, and interviewed community leaders. After the film's release and a red carpet event at the Teen Center, applause came in from all sides. It's a beautiful neighborhood, and to celebrate this with everyone is awesome. Boys and Girls Club director and Mattapan co-producer Rick Agler. The movie is very much our kind of thank you to being a part of the community and just spotlighting the great things in the neighborhood. Now, the film is one of those great things, winning for best documentary in the 18 and under category at the Scout Film Festival. It just felt super great for other people that I didn't even know that took the time to watch my film and basically give me the good feedback. It just feels amazing. Let's just try resetting the whole thing in general. In their new project, Portraits, Moses and the team are widening their lens. Because we already captured the story of Mattapan, but now we're reaching out to other neighborhoods like Hyde Park, Roxbury, to get their perspective. Starting with a focus on the arts at the Record Co., a nonprofit recording space for musicians in Roxbury. Moses helped write the grant that paid for the equipment, including three new cameras. What does it do for you to be able to make these films? It makes me feel empowered. It's really fun. Sometimes it can get hard, but I don't look at the hard stuff as a bad thing. I look at the hard stuff as an amazing thing that can push me forward in life. Their interview subject, the Record Co's executive director, Matt MacArthur, was clearly impressed. How shocked were you to find out that Moses was 15? 15 years old, behind a camera. I mean, I like that about Boston. That's not happening where I grew up. Um, and you know, Kids making movies? Kids making movies, kids finding that, you know, that community that obviously all of them are in together and like, you know, being locked in a project. Thank you again. It was yeah, yeah, a pleasure yeah. to, meet you. to meet you. One that's also expanding their appreciation for Boston's culture and diversity. Giving it a good title is what we were, you know, basically trying to achieve. Portrait, it shows a portrait of each neighborhood. It shows a portrait of what we're doing. And it just shows, you know, vibrance. Moses and the MTC team are moving all over Boston with a tight shooting schedule and a May release date. But that pressure, he says, is also thrilling. Where would you like to be in 10 years? I would like to be well known for what I do. Now, he's likely going to be even closer to that goal this spring. There is already a May 5th premiere on the calendar for portraits at the IMAX theater at the New England Aquarium. So a huge screen. Save this story for when he wins an Oscar in 10 years, right? right? Because, boy, I love the fact that he mentioned the word passion because you can see the passion in the work that he's doing and also the passion for his neighborhood and his neighbors. Yeah, and when he talks about it being hard, I mean, he's in the Metco program. He gets up at 5 in the morning to go to Lincoln Sudbury High School, gets home at 9 o'clock at night, and manages in that time to make movies and teach other kids how to use that equipment. Wow. Awesome story. Thanks.